Oh, Average Joe's Vape here, Mr. T speaking. And today I'm going to go ahead and try this from the Sauce LA. And I'm going to be using my GX350 with the Beast Tank. And this is the Pierre by the SauceLA.com. Now I do like their juice. I've had the Capone, which is really good, and I'm current. Uh, I was. I was currently vaping on the open road, and I love it. As you can tell, it's almost gone. <laughs> this is a Rice Krispie treat, uh, caramel with marshmallow. The open road by the sauce. I love it, as you can tell. I'm not a I'm not a dark vape juice guy. I'm not a big fan of the whole uh, cream flavors and the stuff like that. But I know there's a lot of you out there that are. Uh, these are the more darker flavors, the more creamier flavors. Uh, this is supposed to be a waffle caramel waffle. I think it says right here. It says yep, caramel waffle cappuccino. I'm not a huge coffee fan or a waffle fan but I'm not into trying things twice well, one, at least once I will try things once for you uh, just to see how they are and you see my reaction to them I did let this steep for a while so as you can tell the color is a little bit darker than it was I did let it steep for a couple days I've been mainly uh, vaping on this the open road which is really good. I'm not a big fan of these type of flavors, but this one is really good. Uh, I may get some more of this later on. Um, but as you can see, empty tank, brand new bottle. Alright. And I filled its tank, the beast tank. I don't know if it you guys know how to do it already by now you should uh, but you just open that up very easy to fill Put that in I am some, uh, vaping on the T4 coil my T10 coil I kinda messed up because I didn't prime it beforehand and it only lasted me about three days because I did the rookie mistake of burning the coil uh, taking that first vape from a fresh coil and it just ended up burning the cotton inside the coil all nasty uh, but that's a rookie mistake and a lot of people do it it's not just me uh, what you gotta do is you gotta let this sit in the coil for a while let it soak up all the juices that way it's not gonna burn up on you when you take your first vape uh, now I will say this for solid coils, uh, pre-build coils. I love the pre-build coils but it's just like it's one of those things where if you want an instant vape as soon as you fill up the tank it's not gonna happen. Uh, you do have to let it sit in the tank for a while and uh, let it soak up and let the cotton soak it up or you can prep it uh, and how you prep it is you just take the coil out and you put a little juice on, inside each of the cotton holes and you uh, prep it that way, that way it soaks it up and it get, has the juice already in it when you go to vape. I still recommend you let the juice soak in it and let it, everything soak in for at least five minutes uh, before you start vaping. Uh, I already had juice in this coil but I just emptied it so uh, it shouldn't take that long to uh, get ready for the flavor. Uh, but here we go. This is first time trying the Pierre from the sauce la.com if you haven't tried them out I recommend you try them they got really good juice but I do recommend you let them steep for a while and what steeping is is just letting it air out and letting it go uh, get the flavor up and let, let it uh, basically it, it brings the flavor back out and it's uh, if you get it it'll be like a really light color lighter than this uh, because they make it fresh and it's really good uh, they ship it to you as they may once they make it 
took me a couple days to get this. I ordered it on Friday, got it on Thursday, so it's really good shipping. Um, and they have some really good deals on there. Uh, they gave me 30% off for my first time ordering them and trying them. Uh, so if you haven't tried them, I recommend trying uh, thesaucela.com. Uh, they have the famous Capone, which is a Fruit Loops. I like that one. I've been letting it seep as well. Uh, I did try it before. Uh, but this is, again, the Pierre. Not really getting anything yet, but I think that's just because it's not been sitting in my coil for a while. So getting the other stuff out and letting the, the flavor flow through the coil. Or through the cotton. Okay. So yeah, definitely taste the cappuccino. Definitely taste the caramel. The waffle's not too overbearing, which is what I like. You know, if I do choose to get a waffle flavor in a sample box or something... I like them to not be too overbearing uh, with the waffle flavor, and you can't taste anything else. So, uh, But this is uh, actually pretty decent for a uh, waffle cappuccino. I definitely can taste the ca cappuccino, and I can taste the, the caramel, and the waffle is kind of just sitting there on the back burner, just letting you know that it's there. <laughs> so... Yeah, definitely getting the coffee flavor now. Like I said, I'm not a fan of coffee flavors, so that's my reaction on why I did that. Uh, but I'm here for you, trying new things. Uh, if you have a vape juice you want me to try and you recommend it, go ahead and mark it down on the bottom, on the bottom there, and uh, I will go ahead and see how much it is, where it's at, and I will go out and buy it and try it for you. I'm not not going to try new things just because I don't like them as you can tell <laughs> yep you get the you get the the coffee roast the beans the coffee beans in there you get it's kind of like a more dark roast uh, like in, like like a darker coffee type uh, I can taste the, the coffee in there, taste the roasting roasted beans. Uh, I, like I said, I definitely taste the caramel, which uh, for our... Uh, I like caramel macchiatos myself from Starbucks, I know. Um, they're expensive, I haven't gotten one in a while. Uh, but I'm not a big coffee flavor for juice. There's a certain flavors that they shouldn't make juice out of. and Coffee, I think, is one of them, but... For those of you who like coffee, this will be a good coffee flavor for you to go ahead and get and at least try it. Um, now, like I said, I can taste everything. I taste the caramel. I taste the waffle. Uh, the waffle's on the back burner, uh, but I definitely taste the, the roasted beans, uh, the coffee. Definitely a dry roast and a dark roast. Very good flavor, definitely recommended if you're a coffee drinker, uh, if you like the flavor of vapes uh, for coffee, uh, I definitely recommend the SauceLA.com, one of the better juice sites I've gotten from so far. Also, uh, ExampleBox.com does a really good deal. Uh, you can pick and choose your flavors now that you want to come in your box. And you got a 3, a 6, and an 11. And uh, my sample box just came in, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the flavors of those as well. And then come back with you with a video review of the flavors that I got uh, this month for March for sample box later on. And again, like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Uh, again, challenge for all of you guys. 50 subscribers, I will go out, out of my own pocket, buy something, don't know what it is yet, whether 